All right, everybody, I want to welcome you all back to the Arcade of Fun, in which this time we're going to try a little something new. If you can remember back in uh, November of 2013, when I was doing a, um, when I was showing my Wheel of Fortune uh, Milton Bradley board game, second edition from 1975, I showed you all the box artwork and what was inside the box, all the pieces and everything. Well, I'm going to do the same thing in this video, except this time I'm going to be showing you all my Tyco home version of Wheel of Fortune board game from 1992. The new home version of the number one TV game show. A uh, little story for you behind this particular board game. I got this particular version of Wheel of Fortune for Christmas back in 1993 when I was six. And of course, you know, being the uh, kid I was, I actually did not take very good care of this game, unfortunately, so it didn't last too long. Fortunately, thank God for websites of Amazon and eBay. I got this particular board game off of eBay back in um, 2010, December of 2010, as a matter of fact. And I've had this in my collection for 10 years, and I'm happy to have it again. And this time, it's staying in my collection for good, in good condition. And on the front of the cover, you see Vanna wearing a red dress. You see the Wheel of Fortune puzzle board, the Tyco Games logo there, and then there's the wheel itself. Let's go ahead and show you the sides. Okay. There's that. They basically all look the same. All the sides on here look the same, so. But I'll show it to you anyway for the sake of demonstration. Now let's look at the back. The world's number one game show you can play at home. It's for two or more players, ages eight to adult. Spin the wheel, select a letter, then spin again or try to solve. It's just like the TV show. Simply great fun for all the family. And the contents of this Wheel of Fortune board game are the Wheel of Fortune puzzle board. The Wheel of Fortune, 50 Wheel of Fortune puzzle sheets featuring 100 puzzles developed in conjunction with the TV show, instructions, and Wheel of Fortune money. All of which you see is right there, and we'll go over everything in just a second. And then there's some people playing the game right there. And there's Vanna herself saying, Here's the all-new Wheel of Fortune game you can play at home. We've redesigned the puzzle board, making it easier to use and read. 100 new phrases have been taken over from the TV show for you to puzzle over. If it were any more fun, I'd be out of work. Signed, Vanna. Copyright of uh, Califun Productions Incorporated from 1992. All rights reserved. Wheel of Fortune is based upon the television series Wheel of Fortune, produced by Merv Griffin Enterprises, a unit of Sony Pictures Entertainment Incorporated, and distributed by King World Productions Incorporated. Wheel of Fortune is a registered trademark of Califun Productions. Made, uh, copyrighted in 1992 by Tyco Industries Incorporated in Morristown, New Jersey, 08057, made in the USA. This product conforms at date of manufacture to safety requirements of ASTM F963. Color and designs of parts may vary. There's the proof of purchase right there. All right. Let's look into the contents of this uh, box, shall we? Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. There's the, uh, the puzzle board spikes. You know what? I'll go ahead and set this all up for you guys. We'll take all the puzzle sheets out. Okay. Hang on a second here. Let's see? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the... Yeah, this is all in order. Okay. All right. So there's the puzzle board right there, as you can see. Why don't we go ahead and put the, uh, the, funk, uh, the puzzle board around it. it is there's the puzzle board itself and then right here we have all the puzzle on these sheets and everything this is a phrase which is communing with nature and then down here at the bottom are all the letters of the alphabet and which ones appear in the puzzle how many times which uh blanks and uh what's the answer and which letters are not in the puzzle then here's all the instructions right here you can see the contents are right there. 
one Wheel of Fortune spinner, one puzzle board instruction sheet, 50 puzzle cards with 100 puzzles, 10 free spin tokens, and Wheel of Fortune money. And speaking of the free spin token, I'll go ahead and show you all that. That's what the free spin looks like in the Tyco Home version. Earn money by spinning the wheel and solving a series of word puzzles on the board. The player with the most money after four rounds is the winner. Number one, the puzzle cards. Slide the deck of 50 puzzle cards into the puzzle board frame. Use this instruction sheet puzzle as the backing. Each card features two word puzzles, one on each side. After each round, remove the card you have just solved, turn it over and reinsert it at the back of the deck in front of this back sheet. In a later game, the unused puzzle on its reverse side will be facing forward. Remember, before you remove a card to go to the next puzzle, be sure to reposition all the doors in their up position and move all the slides to the left. You can tell how many words are in a puzzle and how many letters are in each word by looking at the numbered spaces under the doors. Un unnumbered spaces are the spaces between words. Puzzle categories are either a familiar phrase, place, person slash people, real or fictional, family, two members, title or thing. Other categories include before and after, where one word links a two-part puzzle example. Bob Hope Diamond, the word hope links the first part of the puzzle, Bob Hope, with the second part, Hope Diamond, and Star and Roll, where the puzzle is an actor and the character they portrayed. To play the game, each player spins the wheel and the one who spins the highest dollar amount goes first. Play proceeds to the left. Before beginning to play, remove the front puzzle card as it may have been seen by the players during assembly. The first player spins the wheel. The spinner must make at least one complete spin to be valid. If the spinner stops on a line between the two spaces, the player spins again. If the spinner stops on a dollar amount, the player names a consonant letter he believes may be in the puzzle. Vowels must be purchased. The player then goes to the letter on the board and moves to the, the slide to the right to find out the location or locations, if any, of that letter in the puzzle. If the slide reveals that the letter is present in the puzzle, he then flips down the corresponding numbered door or doors to reveal the selected letter in the puzzle. If the letter selected is in the puzzle, the player receives the dollar amount spun on the wheel. If the letter appears in the puzzle more than once, the dollar amount spun is multiplied by the number of times the letter appears. And an important note right here. Slides that have been opened should remain open so that players don't ask for a letter that's already been selected. The player continues to spin or, and ask for letters until he or she asks for a letter not in the puzzle, asks for a letter that has already been selected, spins a bankrupt or lose a turn, asks for a vowel without purchasing it, Val purchases a vowel not in the puzzle or makes an incorrect guess at solving the puzzle. Should any of the above occur, the player's turn ends and it is the next player's turn. Okay. On each turn after his initial one, a player may choose to do any of the following. Spin the wheel, buy a vowel, or try to solve the puzzle. In general, players should take no more than 5 seconds to select a letter and no more than 10 seconds to solve a puzzle. If he decides to spin the wheel, he follows instructions 4 and 5 above unless he spins a lose a turn, in which case his turn is over, or bankrupt, in which his turn is over and he must return to the bank any money he has won so far during the round. And an important note. Players should keep money won during previous rounds separate from money won in the present round. In order to buy a vowel, the players must have at least $250. This amount must be paid to the bank before he checks to see if the vowel appears in the puzzle. If the vowel does appear, the player continues. If the vowel does not appear, his turn is over. And an important note, the $250 is paid regardless of whether or not the vowel appears in the puzzle, and even if the vowel appears more than once, the player only pays $250. If a player spins free spin, he takes a free spin token and continues his turn. He may use his token at any point in the round when he selects a letter not in the puzzle, spins a lose a turn, or spins bankrupt. However, bankrupt will still result in his money losing all the money he's won so far in the round. Players should announce their intention to use a free spin token before actually doing so. Now, in terms of solving the puzzle, to continue to win money, many players keep spinning and selecting letters even after the puzzle solution becomes obvious. A player should announce his intention to solve the puzzle before giving his answer aloud. If a player begins to solve the puzzle and makes an error, the player must correct the error and solve the puzzle correctly before the entire answer is given. After a player gives a solution, that player checks to see if he is correct by pushing the long slide to the right to reveal the puzzle solution to himself only. If the player's solution is correct in every detail, including word order, the player wins and the round is over. All the doors are then flipped open to, reve to reveal the complete word puzzle. 
Note, the word the, if added to the puzzle, will not be accepted and the player will be disqualified. If the player's solution does not match exactly the solution behind the dot long slide, the player quickly pushes the slide back to cover the solution, forfeits all his money from the round, and is out of the round. The round then continues until another player wins. When a round ends, only the player who has solved the puzzle may keep his winnings for that round. All other players must return any money won during the round to the bank. And another note here. Players who do not have to return any money won from previous rounds. Players may also keep any free spin tokens in use in future use in future rounds until the game is over. Round values. The winner of round two receives a bonus of $100. The winner of round three receives a bonus of $200. The winner of round four receives a bonus $300. The player with the most money after four rounds is the winner. And those are the instructions of the Tyco Home version of Wheel of Fortune. That was a mouthful. There's the instructions on how to set the puzzle board up. And the wheel, of course. Speaking of the wheel, go ahead and show it to you all. It's currently not assembled right now, but that's okay. Here's what it looks like, the bottom of it, the bottom base. And I'll show you what the wheel itself looks like. As you can see, the top dollar value is $750, which you see right there. I'll go ahead and uh, do a wheel turn here for you all, so that way you can all see what all the values are and what the colors are. I'm using colors of the black space for bankrupt, and then orange, purple, white, red, blue, and yellow. So there's the wheel itself. And then here's instructions on how to assemble. I'll go ahead and put this away for right now. First thing you do, snap the feet into the puzzle board frame as pictured, insert the 33 doors, then turn the whole frame upside down so that the doors flip to their up position. Now run your finger along each line of doors to press them into position. Turn your frame right side up and snap the slides into the frame, including one, the one longer slide, and move them all to the left as shown. Note, before continuing and before the start of each and every round, make sure that all doors are in their up position and that all slides are moved to the left. This will prevent accidentally revealing the puzzle. Punch out the set decoration wings, the spinner base, free spin tokens, and the wheel. Attach the wings by fitting the holes in them over the pegs on the puzzle board frame. To assemble the spinner, push part A through the hole in the spinner base card and attach part B. Attach the wheel onto part B. Push part C through the corner hole in the spinner base and insert the clicker as shown in figure 5. Now I'm going to show you all the different play money amounts. You have $50 right here, which is pink. You see the Wheel of Fortune logo there and the Merv Griffin Enterprises production logo from 1992. You have a $100 uh, play money right here, which is blue. Okay. Here's a $200 bill, which is green. And finally... $500 bill, which is yellow. And there you have it for my review of the Tyco Home version of Wheel of Fortune. Let's go ahead and put all this away. Disassemble this puzzle board real quick. Forgive me, folks. And there you have it for a look at my Tyco Home version of Wheel of Fortune. And I'll do another video like this soon of uh, future board games. And in the meantime, I'm going to see you all for that next video coming soon. Catch you later, everybody.